Hey guys, Brandon here again. I uh, just got the uh, most recent update uh, to the Tesla software. This is version 2017.42. And um, my vehicle's a little late um, to the developments. Some, a bunch of other people have gotten this already. But for what, it worth, what it's worth, here's a summary of what the uh, uh, changes are. Basically, it's a couple convenience features, uh, folding mirrors. Uh, you could actually keep those closed now if you're driving less than 30 miles per hour. Um, I had never tried to use that. I guess it might be handy if you're trying to film like a Jason Bourne movie or something and you're weaving through cities. Um, this is a big one here. So basically, um, Bjorn's requested camper mode uh, has been granted. So there's a little um, underneath the climate settings, uh, there's the toggle option to keep your climate on. Um, that's right down here. It only comes up if you're parked. Um, so and it says climate will turn off after you leave the car if you have it off. If you have it on, then climate will stay on. It automatically turns off once your battery gets down to 20%. So if you're keeping something warm and it's really cold out, um, and your car drops down to 20%, it'll automatically turn off. You can turn it back on using the Tesla app, um, but you just want to make sure that you realize that, so something that shouldn't freeze, like um, a pet or beer or something, um, that you don't let it freeze. And it also sends you a warning once it gets down to uh, 20%. I'm gonna turn that off so you don't hear the blower. Yeah, so that's really cool. Um, and then of course there's, you know, if you've got the seats down in the back, there's, um, of course mine are up, but there's lots of room. Uh, there are plenty of room for one person and you can probably squeeze two adults back there. Um, so next is a, a additional bit of info in the supercharging um, uh, toggle. So they're sort of increasing the amount of information that they display about uh, a designated supercharger site. So the new one is how much power is available. So as they get crowded, um, it's pretty much common knowledge that uh, each pair of you know A1, B1, or um, A1, A2, B1, B2 uh, stalls share a 120 kilowatt connection. So as there's more and more cars there, the power in each of those couplets uh, might decrease. So this tells you um, how much power you'll be able to get and that can be important if you're traveling and there's two superchargers that are close to each other and you want to figure out uh, which one is um, best and that actually is uh, let's see I've got here on mine a local supercharger uh, you can see it's got eight of eight stalls available at 120 um, kilowatts so all right let's go back to the release notes Keep going, keep going. Supercharger power. Oh yeah. So, and then the last thing is a little addition to Homelink, um, which allows you to um, open and close your garage door. Um, let's see, that's in settings. Yeah, here we go, down in garage door. Okay, yeah. So the new thing is this. Um, you can set the distance of how, um, when you approach your house or whatever, um, you can set how far away you want it to send the garage door a signal, um, which is nice because maybe you don't want it to start opening it until you get really close. Or like for me, uh, I actually like to, um, there's a street that I turn onto before I get to our street that's close here and right when I'm turning the corner I like it to start opening the garage so that um, by the time I'm actually here, the garage door is, is all the way open. And usually that's the case anyway. Right now it usually starts um, to open it, or it gives the message right when I'm in front of the driveway. And we have a long L-shaped driveway, so it's not a big deal, but anyway, so you can set it. Uh, let's see, what's the, oh, I guess the maximum is 100 feet, and then the least is 10 feet, so I'm gonna keep it at maximum. Um, yeah, and then you can also it'll also auto close when you leave which I had not been using that But I just checked it on so um, now I'll use that and of course you can open and close your garage door at any time by hitting the home length button 
home home link, not length, and then uh, using the garage door indicator. You can also do it through the app, and uh, I have a bit quick video um, about how to do that really easy. Um, it's it's part of the summon function, so that's how it works. So anyway, there's a summary of the new update. A um, couple of interesting uh, new convenience features. Uh, besides the garage door opening setting, I don't know how much I'll be using them. I, um, I only slept in the vehicle once, and that was in the summer on a road trip. So now that we travel as a family, it's <laughs> not that useful. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.